All right, how is everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for tuning in to the Rich Chalenza Show. WTF are you talking about? It might be a little loud because there's a huge rainstorm going on outside. I'm in Florida right now, so um, if you hear thunder or a lot of rain coming down, there's not much I could do about it. Uh, but I definitely want to do a podcast right now regarding something fitness-related. Um, if you know anything about me, I'm always putting up actually... YouTube videos on all the gyms I visit all over North America and I also throw in my two cents regarding giving people advice and there's a couple things I want to get into today uh, on my podcast it's not going to be super long but it's regarding your workouts either being too long or too short too short (laughs) or too short sorry about that and um, some other things as well which I'll get into but Here's the thing regarding uh, working out, I think, over the years that I've learned is it's not easy to find the perfect amount of time to work out. I definitely think it's almost impossible, at least for me, to find a specific exact time to always work out at. Uh, Depending on how I feel throughout the day, it's kind of how I work out. I kind of have a schedule where I travel a lot or I'm not traveling at all. So I kind of, I don't always have the luxury of traveling or working out always at the same time, especially if I'm catching airplanes or I'm driving. Um, So I just try to make sure I get to the gym. That's my number one goal. And a lot of times I can work out uh, in the afternoons or nights. I'm not a morning type of workout guy, but if I am catching a flight in the afternoon and I know that's the only time I can work out, I will. But back to figuring out exactly how long your workout should be and really figuring out what type of exercise you're doing within that workout. I'm not going to get too entailed with that because that's something that would take forever kind of to get into. But as far as learning, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as learning, what's a great length um, to work out? And I don't think a lot of people really concentrate on that. I think a lot of people learn from either a trainer or they watch a YouTube video or Instagram or they've worked out with a workout partner. They get kind of into a rhythm And they very seldom ever break out of that rhythm. So if they're used to working out for an hour, that could be a class. That could be different exercises you do. You're kind of on an hour to an hour 15 type workout person. Or are you an hour and a half to two hour type workout person? Or do you excel or even go beyond that? Now, again, what I'm talking about isn't training for sports. So uh, this is just for the average person out there trying to get fit or get in shape or stay in shape, right? That's what I'm talking about here. And what I've realized over the years is I think a lot of my workouts are too long, especially now. And I think they've exhausted me a little bit, especially as I'm getting older. I'm going at 50. But I used to be one of those guys, and I've discussed this before, where I always kind of dreaded getting to the gym a little bit, right? Once there, though, I never wanted to leave. It's really weird. So I had a workout partner for many, many years who loved getting us to the gym. And we would get there. And after about a half an hour, he was bored. He wanted to leave in an hour. I start to pick up momentum when I get there. And I almost feel like I never get in enough. Now, I'm probably kind of unique in that where I think a lot of people are ready to get to a gym and get out in a certain amount of time. Me, not so much. I never feel like I get enough in. And now that I'm older, I do a lot of stretching before I work out. And I warm up each body part. Plus, I do five minutes on the bike. And then afterwards, I do some stretching I also hit a sauna for 15 minutes. So what used to be kind of an hour and 15, probably always an hour and a half to two hours. Sometimes I'm there two and a half hours and my girlfriend I know gets exhausted. But I also realized my workout routine sometimes, especially if I'm doing legs, I'm doing too many exercises because I'm trying to hit everything. And sometimes I, I don't know what it is, why I'm there so long. Sometimes I'll be like, oh my God, now, I was also even incorporating swimming into my workouts too. So besides doing more or less a bodybuilding workout where I would hit two you know, body parts, first, like I just was describing, I get to a gym, I stretch. That could be five, 10 minutes, literally. And then I jump on a bike to warm my knees up. Like I said, that's at least five minutes. I may even do a quick five minutes on the treadmill to get my heart you know, rocking and rolling, get some blood flow going. Then I go down stairs and I do a shoulder stretch. I have to do that because I had problems with my shoulders. So that, I do five different things. 
to warm just my shoulders up. Then I go do one, depending if I'm doing upper body or if I'm doing legs, but if I'm doing upper body, I will go warm up my chest, tries, buys, and back because I always warm up my shoulders. And then I will start my workout, which as you could tell, I'm already into this about a half an hour before I even really start my real workout. But one thing I have done with my workouts is I'm taking less amount of time as far as in between my sets. So I picked up the momentum going there. I used to kind of lift always heavy weights and take longer breaks in between, but now I don't do that. I kind of want to get a workout weight and cardio in there uh, to help with a lot of different things. So I do that. But after I'm done doing, say I do chest and tries that day, after I'm done doing that, I'll even kind of throw in some forearm stuff. Uh, but as I'm leaving there, I go stretch a little more depending on how I feel. And this also doesn't include if I do abs or not, which I'm even me talking out loud, I'm starting to realize how much shit I do when I'm at the gym. So a lot of times, even before I start my chest and tries, say I'm doing chest and tries, I used to do six to eight abs. And I was realizing... That worked when I was younger, when I had a lot of energy. I used to not do abs or I would do them at the end. But I realized if I did them at the end, I kind of slacked on them. Then as I got older, I kind of liked doing abs. So I started warming up, doing everything I said and doing abs, then starting my workouts. But then again, I used to not swim and do laps. I used to just swim because I was in Florida just to swim. Uh, I did always love swimming, but it wasn't something where I would do 30 or 40 laps incorporated into my workout like I do now a lot of times. And I also didn't always incorporate a 15-minute sauna. And like I said, I'm speaking out loud here and I'm wondering why I'm at a gym for two and a half, three hours. And then I'm wondering a lot of times why I'm exhausted throughout the day. And I'm answering my own questions through this podcast. So what I'm trying to figure out myself now is I can't always incorporate a cardio within my weight training. And I think the swimming, which I'm starting to do more and more, are just on my off days. So I'm going to start just doing, because again, like I was just describing, I'm exhausting myself. I'm realizing my workouts are too long. At least I believe they are. And when I travel a lot by myself, I realized if I had to work and then if I wasn't working, I had nothing else to do except basically if I wanted to read, write, If I was writing my books, creating a screenplay or creating a podcast or whatever the case may be, I had all the time in the world. So I would go to gyms to take up a lot of that time and I was kind of very, I wasn't in a rush where if most people, like I used to be for years, you know, you get off work, you got kids, you only got an hour, you got an hour and a half, you know, you have a certain amount of time or if you're going to work say you're working out in the morning you have to be there at a specific time so you know you got to be at the gym only from 6 to 7 30 7 30 you drive to work if you started at 8 but in my case I didn't have that so I've been doing um I've kind of I'm not saying I'm lazy at the gym it's quite the opposite I've been doing too much and I think a lot of people either are doing too much or not enough And I talk about this a lot within my YouTube videos and my podcast. It's not how much you work out. It's the intensity that you bring to each and every workout. If you work out extremely hard for a half an hour, it will blow away somebody just working out like half-ass for two hours. It's kind of like I say, it's like jogging and sprinting. Go do five sprints. You... You'll, you'll get your ass kicked, even 10 sprints. You, you, it's, you could jog forever, but when you start doing some hardcore sprints, you, that's kind of, I'm not saying you have to bring to that level of intensity to your workouts, but you have to keep that mindset. You can kind of lift weights, kind of like, kind of just chilling and lightweight and just going through the you know, motions forever, right? But if you go in there and you hit some heavy weights or you hit some, you know, it's very strict movements and you really hit it hard, basically is what I'm saying. You know as well as I do, you can only last a certain amount of time. I learned that, especially when I started doing Dorian Yates and Mike Mentzer's workout, I kept thinking in the old days you had to do, you know, it could be 10 to 15 sets and it could be reps from 8 to 15, whatever the case may be. But what I realized is I kept backing up where I was doing um, less reps. I guess you could say, um, just hardcore. I was also doing a lot of negatives. So instead of doing, say, 10, I would just do six. 
but I would do it to the point where I couldn't even move. Same with curling. And with my sets, I would only do, say, five sets of chest after warming up, not 10 or 15. But I would hit him so hard I couldn't do any more. Same with curling. I can only curl like five sets, right? And I would hit him so hard to like I couldn't even grip it anymore. And I realized that intensity is really is what counts most. So back to if you are working out, really start focusing and maybe switching some things up, maybe not incorporating so much. Because I know a lot of people too that try to incorporate a class some free weights, some swimming, maybe a jacuzzi, a sauna, all these different types of things, which if it works for you, great. But as you get older, I think you could be exhausting yourself. So you may, and this is what I'm kind of doing is I'm going in now and I'm doing more abs when I do my cardio work. So I just have days now where I just go into the gym, which I'm going to do today, which is just going to be cardio. I'm going to go in and stretch, probably ride the bike a little bit. I may walk for 10 or 15 minutes. I may do a crew machine for a while. Uh, did I say I'm going to do abs? If I if I didn't, I'm saying it now. Uh, and then I'll probably go do 40 laps underwater. I may even jump in a jacuzzi for five minutes, maybe not. And then I'll hit the sauna for 15 minutes. So that's just going to be that type of workout. And then the days I'm working out with weights, strictly weights, not weights swimming um, or weights doing a crew thing where I'm, you know, you're rowing for 15 minutes or all these things, which I'm not saying you can do whatever works for you. But just pay attention to the length of your workouts. That's really what I'm getting into with this podcast. And also, again, too, depending on during your sets, are you doing too many reps during your workouts? And I think a lot of people get in a rhythm again or in a rut where you keep doing the same amount of reps and the same type of exercises where you're really not getting that much out of it. It's very similar to say a construction worker who gets a hammer and you know, you get a hammer at the beginning and you start hitting your, you know, for the first month or two, you're building up all this strength, obviously in your form and it's going to grow. And then before you know it, um, it just becomes, that becomes too light or you're not, you know, you're not building any more muscles. It's just a routine. You got to kind of look at it like that when you're working out. A lot of times, don't get me wrong, working out just in general is wonderful. But if you don't kind of push yourself um, and you're not challenging yourself or you've kind of got to the point where you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're not seeing the same results and you may be in decent shape, uh, but you're not getting in better shape or in the shape you really want to get into, that's because obviously you're not bringing the intensity. And again, um, Back to working out, are you lifting weights too sometimes that is giving you more of a cardio workout or more of a, a muscular type workout where you're building a lot more mass? You got to realize usually if you want to build up mass, you're going to have to usually lift heavier weights, uh, which may in turn mean lifting less reps. Um, and then on the other hand, if you want to start building up some mass or some strength, obviously, but also build your cardio, you want to do more sets maybe, and definitely more reps. You want to incorporate that. I like to switch between both. I never give my body, um, I guess you could say, I never let my body become comfortable with whatever I'm doing. I'm constantly trying to shock it and do different things within my workout. That includes constantly changing up my workouts with equipment, different things. I just went and did a goofy ass leg workout the other day where um, it was just all jumping. I warmed up my knees and everything, my quads and my hams, but then I was doing all these crazy jumps. My legs were destroyed. I was winded. I saw this new workout on YouTube and that's what I kind of want to do a lot of times because I, there's so many different muscles and there's so many different, you know, our joints, our tendons, all these different things. I want to make sure I'm always kind of working all of them if I can. And I would obviously recommend swimming the most. If you are older and you're really not... You're not even working out. Say you hate weights. You don't even like running. Uh, you don't like ellipticals. You don't like any of that shit. You don't even like going to a gym. You really should consider swimming. I'm telling you, it's the best thing in the world for you. The buoyancy and just go underwater and swim. You don't have to look like some professional swimmer on top of the water doing all these different strokes. Just going back and forth. And I tell people even in the water, you can do lunges, jumps, walk backwards, just walk in general 
do uh, you know you could do some maybe sprinting in there or even some jogging just have fun in the water it really burns so many calories and it gets so much blood flow and it really doesn't take a toll on your joints like when you're you know running on the pavement or doing anything uh anywhere the water makes it light and it makes it fluent and it's awesome so anyways i'm gonna wrap it up there in a second here let me see here. What else do I got to say? Yeah, just pay attention to your workouts. Also pay attention to silly things like if you go into jacuzzi, for instance, you're not in there too long. You know what I mean? Don't sit in there for long periods of time. You're going to feel like shit afterwards or the next day. Same with the sauna. Don't overextend yourself in there. Same with the steam room. You know, all these different types of things. You've got to pay attention to while you're there. It could even be on a treadmill. You know, if you're on a treadmill every day for a certain amount of time, your knees, your joints, your lower back, a certain type of treadmill may be affecting you. It may work out for you. It may not work out for you. And also the lengths that you're on that, remember. So, uh, and that's the same with any type of exercise. I don't care if you're just jogging outside. You may start to feel like shit. And you're like, why do I feel horrible? You know, one of the reasons is you may be running too far. Your shoes, it could be many things. You may not be stretching properly. You may not be getting enough rest. You have to take... Really, if you're working out, you really got to take a look at yourself because what the way you used to be is not maybe the way you are now, if that makes sense, because we all evolve. I talk about that all the time. We are all getting older. And that doesn't mean you got to quit working out or not push yourself or any of that. I'm not saying that at all. But you have to realize every day, every month, every year, you are changing. Your body is constantly changing. Your joints, your tendons, your muscles they are changing as well. And even you're working out sometimes, if you do change up your workouts, that changes as well. So everything is changing. And that could be obviously your diet as well. You're probably not going to always eat the same from year to year to year. You're not going to always get the same amount of sleep. So really consider all these things and uh, just really pay attention to your body. Listen to it. It's I think your body is always talking to you. I just think a lot of us neglect to listen. And that may sound like a joke, but you know, you, you can, a lot of times I'll even go into gym and I'll start to do something. I'll be like, you know what? My knee feels like this today. It's tweaking. Today is not the day for this. That doesn't mean I'm going to not work out. It just means, okay, I'm going to do a different type of workout where I know, hopefully, <laughs> that I'm not going to hurt my knee. Or if your lower back hurts, or if you, again, work out. And here's one more thing that I, that's what I wanted to mention is how many days are you working out? Do you need to maybe switch it up if you're a two-on, one-off, two-on, one-off type person? Maybe you might want to do two-on, one-off, two-on, two-off. You may need that recovery. Or you might figure out doing an every other day type of workout may be better for you, right? Or maybe you're the type of person who likes to work out five days and then take weekends off. And all of a sudden you're realizing, wow, that's not working for me any longer. Maybe I should do, uh, you know, maybe a four-on, then one-off or four, you know, whatever you have to experiment on your days and your times again because I think a lot of people get in a rut and say, hey, I can only work out in the morning because that's the only time I'm available, which I get that happens to people. But for me, I never get a really good workout in the morning. I'm just a blood flow. I can't get out of bed and go do it. I don't do it to get it out of the way. I work out to get the best workout possible. And sometimes people don't even realize they may be better working out, working out in the afternoons or even later at night. Um, even though a lot of people think, well, I'll be out of energy by the end of the night. That's not always the case for a lot of people. A lot of people get a lot of energy at night. I'm one of those people. I feel better working out at night. The afternoon, I'm almost ready to take a nap. But anything after five o'clock, I am I mean, I could walk in there at 10, 11 o'clock at night and just be just gun ho for it. So don't think sometimes that the, you know, the way you've been programmed or again with your schedule, things changing that you can not change as well, especially regarding the days, uh, the times and the type of or how many days you're working out. All that stuff has to flow. Um, and just be careful, too, because I know a lot of people will work out. Say you work out one day at night. Right. And then the next day you take a class in the morning and you're fatigued all the time. You're wondering, why am I fatigued? Well, you got to look at your recovery time, right? It's only you were at the gym from, you know, seven to nine o'clock and then you're catching a 630 or seven o'clock morning class. How much, rec you know, recoup was involved with that? 
So these are all different things, including food. Make sure you pay attention to when you're working out. Like if you're eating foods, what food, if you're going to eat an hour, I do it all the time. I eat and then go to the gym and they're like, how the hell do you do that? I don't, that doesn't phase me. I'm not a guy who's going to go in the gym and be like, oh, I'm bloated. I got, I need a two hour, but maybe you do. But I'm just saying a lot of people like, I can't do that. I can't eat this before I go in a gym, which I get. But a lot of times I think we're full of shit because we come up with all these different rules. It kind of reminds me of when we're younger, where our parents were like, um, after you can't go swimming after you eat, which I don't, I've never heard of anybody. Maybe I'm, I swam whenever I wanted to swim. I work out whenever I want to work out. Uh, so all these things that we put in our heads, I think a lot of times regarding all these rules um, that we were either taught by somebody else or just, just, I don't know where the hell this stuff comes from. I just think it's a form of laziness. Get to the gym when you can get to the gym, right? And I'm going to wrap it up definitely there. So if you get a chance, check out my YouTube channels. Like I said, I'm always putting up all the different gyms all over North America that I visit, mainly LA Fitness, but I do independent gyms. I'll do Lifetime Fitness, 24-Hour Fitness, Good Life Fitness. I do them in Canada as well. And uh, I'm always giving advice on there. I'm going to start putting up videos of me working out on there as well. And uh, I am on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. I have a Mastering Self-Confidence program where I help men master their self-confidence. And that incorporates fitness and hygiene as well. And... Um, that's really about it. I got a richchalenza.com, uh, my own web page that can lead you to everything, including the podcasts and videos and whatever else you want to check out that I'm doing. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Take care, and if you're traveling, safe travels.